Hi, third grade. Today we're going to look at unit six, week one, day three. Let's get started with our drill sounds warm up. Repeat after me. A apple a. A safe a. A acorn a. A wash a. A squash a. E ed e. E peat e. E me e. I itch e. I pine i. I hi i. O octopus a. O home o. O no o. You up a. Uh. You mule you. You rule oo. You pupil you. You flew oo. Why cry I? And why baby E? Nice job. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is our word of the day today. You can see it's two syllables. The first syllable, what kind of syllable do you see? That'll help tell us how to pronounce it. Right, it's open. So it's, how do we say that? If it's open, it has that long vowel. So it's pre and then, right, it's closed. So that's going to be a short I, predict. And that should be a familiar word. That's a skill that we do in reading um, when we predict something that might happen next based off of what's already happened and the clues that we've learned. Predict is the word. We're going to go ahead and actually add that word now into our student notebooks. So if you flip open to the vocabulary section on page 73, we already have pollen there from before. That was a word with a schwa, remember? We're going to go underneath of that and we're going to write, spell first, pre, P-R-E, and then D-I-C-T. This word has two blends in it, a blend at the beginning and a consonant blend at the end. Scoop pre, scoop dict, and let's label. Pre is open with a long vowel macron. Dict is closed with a short vowel brev. And so on page 73, you should have that. Okay, pause the video if you need it. All right, let's go ahead and try the sentence. Let's start with I predict the weather. Hmm. That's a sound alike word. Which one? I predict the weather will be bad. Oh, no. I predict the weather will be bad. Okay. One more time. I predict the weather will be bad. Check. Capitalization punctuation. And now let's see. How'd you do with spelling? Should be good. Did you pick that weather? W-E-A-T-H-E-R? Other words you should be okay with there. I predict the weather will be bad. How would you scoop it? I kind of like it. I like three scoops for this one as I go back and read it in my head. I predict is one. The weather is two, will be bad is three. I chose to do those three scoops. I predict the weather will be bad. Maybe you're thinking, I predict the weather will be bad. Two scoops like that. There are different ways, but make sure your page 73 is updated with our new word of the day. Okay, before we go on to learn our new concept for today, let's take a moment and try to build a few more words with that open syllable. The first word, locate, say it. 
locate. If you find something, remember our other sound alike word, if you find something, you locate it. All right, so low. What do you think? L, right, long O. Now, how do you think locate? We're not going to use CK for our K sound because it's not after a short vowel, is it? We're actually going to use C. Okay, now locate A. T. And how do we make that vowel long? Right, silent E. Okay, so we have open and we have vowel dash E. So if I were to mark this up real quick, I'll do green, the other Christmas color. Okay, locate. We know open. We know macrons, at least I hope so. This is a vowel consonant E, so vowel dash E. And to mark this, these vowels, I put a macron over the long vowel and cross off the silent E, right? We remember that. Okay, let's clear this again. And this time, another two-syllable word. Let me get my frames. Let's do reject, say it reject. If a mother rejects her baby, that means she doesn't want it and she won't take care of it. That's not a good thing in the wild. Re is what? Right. R-E. That's an open syllable, huh? Ject. J. J. Mm -hmm. E. Short vowel. Ject. C-T. There's a blend, right? Okay, good. And notice somebody might say, Mrs. D'Amico, this is a short E. Why isn't this a CK? Because it's not at the end of a syllable or of a word. CK only comes at the end of a syllable part or end of a word. And since this is a blend, it's just CT. All right, mark it up super quick. I'll do red this time. Reject. RE is open with the macron. Jacked, however, is what kind? Right, closed with a breve or a brev. Okay, nice work. Let's do a couple more. Um, another two syllable word. Oh, something super important. You must behave. B, Be, you know it, right? B E. And how about have? This one. Yeah. A, long A. How do we make that long A? V can't end a word. E. Now, somebody said, isn't that B have? But remember, have has that E. It's a closed syllable, or I'm sorry, a vowel dash E exception because of it can't end with a V. But this is also pronounced, this part of the syllable is have, long A. All right, one more. Mm, I like this word. Tidy. Say it. Tidy. I hope your desk and your rooms at home are tidy and clean. Tie. What do you think? T long I. Right. This is the open syllable. Now, D. Be careful here. D. Are we going to put an E? Right, it's that Y baby E, Y tidy E, right? Now to mark this one, I hope you remember, we know open, we know this one's also what? Open, okay, so when we mark our vowels, this one just gets a macron, but when it's a Y and it's making a vowel sound and we use that peach card, you have to say what it sounds like, and this sounds like the long E, correct. So you would put that long E sound above it. Nice work. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and watch our new concept for the day. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to Level 3 Foundations Unit 6. I'm Mrs. Recklin and it's nice to see you again. Today we're going to continue our work with the open syllables. We're going to be practicing spelling words with open syllables. So you will need your letter tile board and you will also need your dry erase board and a marker. So if you need to pause the video to get those materials, I'll be right here when you get back.
So we're going to spell some sounds now. So you'll need your letter tile boards. You'll use your letter tile boards and I'll use my cards. So you can always check your work with my work at the board. Are you ready? First sound, say A, A. What says A? Go ahead and build what says A. And I'll put it on my board. What says A? A, consonant, E says A. So I'm gonna write an E above here. So I remember that this vowel card is actually an E. So A, consonant E says A, and A in an open syllable says A. Go ahead and put your A back, and let's do the next sound. Say E, E. What says E? Build it. So here's my answer. E, consonant E says E. E in an open syllable says E. And Y says E at the end of a multisyllabic word. Did you get that? All right. Put your letters away and let's do our next sound. Say I, I. What says I? Built it. What says I? I, consonant E, says I. I in an open syllable, says I. And Y, says I, in a one syllable, open syllable word. Great job, put those letters away. What says O? O, consonant E says O. O in an open syllable says O. Next one, say you, you. What says you? You, consonant E says you. You in an open syllable says you. All right, last one. Say ooh, ooh. What says ooh? Again, you, consonant E says ooh. And you in an open syllable says ooh. So we know that you has two long sounds, you and ooh. Perfect, you can go ahead and put those cards away. And let's make some words. First word, say try. Try, tap it with me. T, er, I. Go ahead and make it. Let's check your word. Look up here at mine and check it with mine. Spell it out loud. T R Y. Try. Did you get it right? Perfect. Let's spell it away. T R Y. Next word. Say shy. Shy. Tap it. Sh I. Build it. And let's check it. Spell it out loud. S-H-Y. Shy. If you're shy, you might be nervous or a little afraid to speak up or do things. There are times when all of us might feel shy at times. Let's put it away. S-H-Y. Nice job on spelling words. You can close your tile boards. So open syllables can be combined with other syllable types like closed and vowel consonant D to make longer words. So now we're going to practice spelling multisyllabic words with open syllables and other syllable types. I'm going to do the first one on my board and then you can get out your dry erase board and practice some other words. But watch me first. So I'm going to say the word remote. Repeat it. Remote. How many syllables in that word remote? Let's see. I'll put my frames up. Remote. So there's two syllables in that word. First syllable is re. How do we spell it? 
R-E. Second syllable is moat. How do we spell that? M-O-T-E. We scoop it, remote, remote. And now let's mark our syllables. My first syllable is an open, closed, or vowel consonant E. It's open, isn't it? My vowel is long. My second syllable, open, closed, vowel consonant E. I bet you said now vowel consonant E. Therefore, my O is long and my E is silent, remote. So have you ever lost the remote to the TV before? I have a lot of times. Remote can also be very far away, like not close, like way out in the country. It's a, there was a cabin that was remote. It was way out in the country. Okay, go ahead and get your dry erase boards out now and your marker. And for these words, you're going to write the words in the boxes on your dry erase board one syllable in each box, just like I'm writing on my syllable frames on the board. So get those ready while I erase my board. Ready? Say robot, robot. Now touch your boxes and say each syllable. Robot. Go back to the first syllable. Row. How do you spell it? R O. Write it in the box. Second syllable. Bot. How do you spell that? B O T. Scoop it. Row. Bot. Read the whole word. Robot. Nice job. Let's mark our syllables. My first syllable, open, closed, vowel consonant E. It's open. My second syllable, open, closed, or vowel consonant E. It's a closed syllable, one vowel closed in. Therefore, my vowel is short. All right, how'd you do? Great. Go ahead and erase your boxes and get ready for the next word. Say baby, baby. Touch your boxes and say each syllable. Bay, B. First syllable, bay. How do you spell it? B, A. Second syllable, B. Do you remember at the end of a multisyllabic word when we hear that E sound? What are we going to use to spell? What vowel will we use most of the time? I bet you're thinking why. They be. Be why. Let's scoop our syllables. They be. And let's mark our syllables. First syllable, open, closed, vowel consonant T. It's open, so the vowel is long. Second syllable, open, closed, or vowel consonant T. It's open, why is the vowel? And it makes the long E sound. They be. Nice job. You can put your markers down for a minute. I'm going to show you something. All right, so here's my word. And I want the word bunny. I want to make the word bunny. Now, I can give this N to the first syllable. Now it's bun E. But I know that. Y likes to have a letter with it in that final syllable. So what do I need to add to make sure this vowel is, has the short sound, the a uh sound? Are you thinking a bonus letter? You're right. So I need to have double the consonant, and I hear a short vowel sound in the first syllable. Oftentimes, I'll need to have a double consonant one to close in the first syllable to make the vowel short, and one to be with the letter Y in the final syllable. So even though we don't hear both ends real clearly, we need to have the double constant, we need to have that bonus in there for the word bunny. Now I'll give you a word to try on your frames. 
And I'll leave Bunny up there to remind you. Listen and see if you hear a short vowel sound in the first syllable. Say penny, penny. Let's touch our frames and say it. Penny, penny. First syllable, pe. Do you hear that short vowel? Are you thinking you're going to have to put an extra consonant in there in order to close it in? Penny. So let's put a star above that extra N to show that we wanted to close in that first syllable, to make that first syllable closed and to make our vowel short. Knee, is that open or closed or vowel consonant D? It's open. And what sound is that Y making? It's making the long E sound, isn't it? Nice job in spelling words with open syllables today. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Okay, third grade, that's actually the end of our foundations lesson for day three. I will see you back next time. Bye-bye.